Hey guys, Merry Christmas, Happy December, Happy 25th. If you don't celebrate, Happy Holidays. I hope you're enjoying a day off on account of everyone else out celebrating. And if Christmas is a tough time of year, I totally understand, but I just thought it would be fun to film a little get ready with me just to mark the occasion on Vlogmas here on my channel. We're getting close to the end here. I think I have about a week of videos left as I am uploading every day here on my channel in the month of December. I also have a Vlogmas giveaway going on. So if you, you know, didn't get as many gifts as you had hoped for this year, you still have the chance to win one from me. And I'm so happy to be able to give you guys some gifts back and say thank you. And so that link is down in the description box. So I just thought it would be fun to sit down with my Christmas morning palette. Maybe some of you are getting ready to head out and celebrate with your friends and family. And I thought, why not pull out this gorgeous palette which came out last year and just enjoy getting ready with each other. And I could chat to you guys and talk about random things, which is, of course, so, so fun here on the internet. So what kind of look should I go for? I think when I originally tested this palette out, I did a red eye and a green eye, and I'm wearing green today. So maybe I should go with a red look just to be kind of, you know, contrasting. So there is a beautiful light brown shade that I'm gonna use in the crease called Milk and Honey. And I'm just gonna start off by placing that on my lid and crease area just to kind of set my P. Louise eyeshadow primer base. And yeah, I would just love to hear if you guys are doing anything fun this holiday season. Let me know down in the comments. Maybe you guys are on like a fun family vacation, somewhere warm that would be honestly like if I had like kids and was in charge of planning family Christmas, I would love for us to just be on vacation, maybe somewhere warm and tropical. I think that's that would be like my dream holiday or my dream Christmas is just always to be warm because that's what I grew up with is being warm. So anytime like people that live in Fargo say to me like, oh, um, I couldn't imagine Christmas without snow, I'm like, Trust me, it's been done. <laughs> it can be done and it's absolutely wonderful in my personal opinion. <laughs> so next I'm gonna go into the shade Cozy Fire, which is this matte red shade. And I have a feeling this is gonna be nice and pigmented. I honestly have not used this palette at all in 2019. It just seems so perfect um, to pull out at this time of year and yeah, sue me, <laughs> but this is really, really a nice shade and it's blending really well. I've really been enjoying Gimme Glow's new palettes from Vintage Rose to Juicy Olive to this one. They, I think, tweak their formula a little bit, so I think it's for the best and just helps their mattes blend so much better. I have two older palettes from them, the Staple Palette and the Summer Vibes Palette, and I think... At some point, what I should do is just repurchase those with the new packaging and formula because I think that they have made some changes. And also the grunge palette looks kind of awesome in my opinion. This is blending so nicely. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, so next to just deepen things up, I'm gonna go into the shade Chimney, which is a dark chocolate brown. I'm just sticking to the Sonia G, this is the Blender Pro. I'm just gonna place that on the outer corner and just kind of tap that in. My friend, Ellie, was looking at picking this up um, and she actually messaged me, she's like, do I need it? And I was like, mm, well, you don't need anything, but I was like, it is like super limited edition and most people like really lust for this palette. And since you have the opportunity to rebuy it, like maybe you should. And so she did. So I'm really hoping she's enjoying this palette as well. And she did pick up the Vintage Rose palette from them as well over Black Friday. Cause usually Gimme Glow has a good Black Friday sale. And I think they did like 20% off their eyeshadow palettes if I remember correctly. Okay, this side got a little wild on the brown, so now I have to match it 
with this side. <laughs> this brush is so nice. So for 2020, I'm low-key thinking of a like a product specific no buy and it was so funny because I've been talking to my husband about it and he's like yeah that sounds you know like a good plan and then I see Kelly Gooch today she put out a video and I'm like that's exactly the idea I had and it's so funny because on YouTube it's like there's so many types of people and it's so possible for two people to have the same idea um, and she just literally laid out my whole um, plan for me kind of because she said she's doing product categories and I have categories as well as um, brands that I want to like not buy from in 2020 only because it's like either I bought so much from them and I just kind of thought hey it's time to slow down try other brands or it's um, brands that I just didn't have good luck with over the last couple of years so why keep trying when I have other brands I could try with and so yeah it was just really funny that she kind of did like a whole video outlining what I had been thinking to do on my channel in 2020 so I'm still gonna do the video I think I just need to do some more put some more thought into it and like really I just want to structure it so that it makes sense for me so I don't like you know, I want to give myself enough room where I can still buy makeup and be happy, but also not over consume. So I'm very excited to see what I end up with. I also don't want to like restrict myself too much where I'm like disappointed, if that makes sense. So now I'm going to go into the red shade, which is stocking stuffer. It's this beautiful shimmery red. And I just know these shades are very creamy and buttery. So I'm just going to go in with a flat shader brush and... I don't think I need to wet this, but maybe I will because I want it to be like really, really pigmented. So yeah, I layered on the red and I really like it. I feel very, very festive. I think I'm going to add a really fun inner corner shadow, which you guys have not seen on my channel yet and maybe some glitter like maybe some gold glitter could be fun just to you know jazz it up but i will be right back after i do my face okay guys so i did do my foundation off camera just to make things a little bit easier i've been trying to use up my Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. This is what it looks like. This was one of those like super hype launches of 2019, but I don't really know like if it was worth the hype. I do like the foundation though, to be honest, like it's pretty full coverage and quite long wearing. So I do like that. And then I just bought some of my products that I've just been using a lot lately. So the Hourglass Veil Powder. I've been using that to set my under eyes because, you know, you have to do that. And I've been, I use the Juvia's Place concealer under my under eye area as well. And I don't know, I feel like it's not like my favorite concealer, but I do like how like full coverage it is and it's creamy and blends really nicely. So I do like that about it. And this powder is very nice as well. And then I have been trying to like make a dent in my Fenty Beauty powder, the bronzing powder. This is what it looks like. I don't love how this powder blends, to be honest. And I think somebody else mentioned that recently in a video and I was like shocked. Who said it? That they didn't, oh, I think it was, was it Julia Mazzucato that said she didn't really love this bronzer? I can't remember who, but it was somebody that like really usually likes Fenty. Maybe it wasn't her. Sorry if it wasn't her. I don't mean to like throw people under the bus, but yeah, I'm just trying to use this up. And again, I think bronzer is going to be one of those product categories I won't be buying in 2020. And that was the Tom Ford bronzer brush. And then one of my favorite products of 2019 are these skin glazing Nabla powders. And the shade Adults Only is like my go-to blush. It's glowy, it's baked gelée, and then I just take this Morphe brush and 
I don't know, I just love the look of this color on my skin. Like, look at how beautiful that is. Oh, wow. I really, really like how that looks. And then I also bought the highlighter shade in Amnesia. And these are very subtle highlighters, so you have to kind of like be prepared for that. Um, they're not as bright as some of the other like more BAM highlights. But maybe on like somebody that's like, like in their 30s like me that doesn't want to wear like beaming blinding highlights all the time they might really enjoy something like this and so for that reason I really like how subtle that highlighter is and then for brows I've just been using the ColourPop brow gel to kind of just like I don't know fluff them up a little bit but I really like my natural brows some days and also I might be a little bit lazy today <laughs> but yeah I just kind of shape them up like that but now I need an eyeliner and that special shadow I was going to show you guys so one second let me grab that okay so my favorite eyeliner of 2019 is this red one from Colourpop and this is in the shade Venus and I just love this eyeliner it's so creamy for the lower lash line I'm gonna go in with the matte red shade called cookie and this really nice pencil brush that I picked up from the Morphe store this is the M149 this is such an amazing little brush I really love using it in my lower lash line oh my goodness so good I wanted to add a little bit of green there, but I think let's leave the green out of it. So that's the lower lash line. And then for mascara, I have been using my Lancome Monster Big. I really, really enjoy this mascara as my top lash mascara. And then this eyelash curler I got in the Ipsy Glam Bag for Ipsy Live. Is it called a glam bag? I don't even know. But the Monsieur Big Mascara is like my favorite mascara of all time. I just really like how it coats my lashes, makes them look nice and full and thick. I did get some mascara on my face, but I'll clean that off and then lower lash line. <laughs> okay, so I did grab some Urban Decay Glitter, which I'm going to put on in a second once my mascara dries. But I did grab, so over Black Friday, I picked up the Terra Moon um, Chameleon Shadows as well as some of their like color shifting shadows. And they were also kind enough to send me some other shadows as well as some glitters. But this shade, um, it's called Red Giant, has like haunted me for a couple of days now and it's like this beautiful red duochrome shade like it was so funny because I remember Angie did a swatch party video and she's like if Ricardo leaves me I'm gonna marry this eyeshadow um and I was like what is she talking about and even Amy was like freaking out about it do you guys see that inner corner highlighter oh mama is that a beautiful highlighter or what isn't that stunning? Oh my goodness, it's so stunning. So I'm gonna clean off the mascara and then grab a lip shade. Okay guys, for a lip color, should I be daring and try out this Jeffree Star shade? I haven't worn this since I picked it up um, from his holiday collection, I believe, last year, but maybe we should try it. It's called Karma. This is the holiday packaging, right? It's this green color. Okay, so for glitter, I'm gonna do Starfire by Urban Decay. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the lash line. I already got some on my lashes, so that's great. I 
Okay, so added some glitter and I think this is it. I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair and put some earrings on and I will be right back to show you the final look. Okay guys, so here is the final look. Just an everyday, regular, wearable holiday look. We are going to Rail's dad's house today and I literally asked him while I was filming this video, I'm like, do you think I could show up to your dad's house in this green lipstick? I probably could actually. I decided to switch from Karma to Equality. I've actually never worn this green lippy on my lips except I did do a lip swatching video when I got this set for the Jeffree Star minis in like all the fun colors and I was like oh I love the shade of green you guys like this is my favorite shade of green it's just like that real green green you know and I love the olive too but I just thought because it was the holidays and I was feeling extra festive I would do this green so yeah those are the two lippy options I thought the olive looked great too love these Terra Moon chameleon shades they are so stunning so I do need to film a swatch party video on those as well so very very blessed this holiday season lots of fun new makeup to play with and so many things to look forward to with 2020 so I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and again it's just one day if it's tough I totally can empathize with that but it'll be you know it'll be over before we even know it unfortunately because that is life and i love you guys so so much so i hope you are having a wonderful day no matter what and i will see you in my next video tomorrow bye guys